that video somewhere from an early trip uh, from 2018. So I thought it'd be interesting to uh, kind of compare what I was using back then compared to what I'm using now. So let's take a look at it. This was actually the first trip that I actually videoed. Uh, I'm not gonna put together the whole trip because there wasn't too much exciting to see. Uh, this was at Raccoon Creek State Park. I believe it was July 4th weekend of 2018. So the part of the video we're gonna take a look at is all my gear laid out on the picnic table and compare it and to what I'm using now. I do have almost all of this gear still. Just I save everything just in case something breaks. Or maybe I'm gonna take somebody out on their first backpacking trip and they don't have any gear, so. Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, just got to camp uh, and unpacked the bag. So I'm figuring on ways I gotta cut down some weight here. All right, so first that pack. That is a Field and Stream pack. I believe it's probably a 60 liter pack. That was like a four pounds pack, just empty. Obviously that's no, no longer in use. A big, big issue here is this water bladder. I got I put three liters of water in there. It's just way too heavy. So what I'm gonna probably do next time is I'll go I'll one one liter of water in there next time instead of filling it up. I'll just use a water bottle and fill up in streams as I go. I got uh, Sawyer Mini here somewhere to filter water. Uh, the water bladder, yeah, that's just a ton of water for the, for that uh, trip that I was on. Um, I do have a, a recent video of uh, my water, uh, what I'm using now for my water uh, supply. So check that video out. Brought toilet paper just even though there's bathrooms over there. I just wanted to see how much space it takes up. Uh, yeah, that was probably a little bit of overkill as far as how much toilet paper I had with me because there are, you know, pit, pit toilets at the uh, campsite. Uh, and I didn't really hike that far into camp, so I really didn't need that much. So I got my first aid kit. Uh, probably nothing in there I can lose. My uh, first aid kit's a little bit big for what I really need, so yeah. I, I think I did a video. Yeah, I did a video of uh, my, what's in my ditty bag, and that's what my first aid kit is. So if you're interested, check out that video, what's in my ditty bag. Food. And what else do I have? I got a... So that was probably a little bit overkill as far as how much food I had with me. Um, I do have some video. I'm going to show you how I was cooking that, and I made a complete disaster out of it. There's uh, nor, nor um, pasta sides that I had. And, oh, there's my Sawyer Mini right there. The Sawyer Mini filter is what I have with me. Um, and again, that's long gone. Um, but yeah, and that's in my recent uh, water video that I did. And I have my uh, cooking stove in here. I might change that out for a titanium one. Uh, that cook stove, that is um, also long gone. That was a solid fuel um, stove that I got from, uh, I think, Walmart. Um, I'm going to show that a little bit later in the video. Um, and I do have, uh, I do talk about that in my, I did a video, what's uh, my, my cook kit that I'm using. It's uh, a few months back I did that video. This is all, the entire hammock system, sleeping bag and all, air mattress, everything in there. I don't even know that the air mattress is necessary tonight. I'm going to try it out anyways. All right, so in that stuff sack, I'm going to show you a little bit later everything that's in there. Um, I don't use a stuff sack like that anymore. Um, here's my, my thinking is if you take a stuff sack and it's basically like a square or, you know, like a box shape and you put it down into the bottom of your backpack, there's all kinds of empty space that's not being used. So, uh, yeah, I just stuff everything just right into a contractor bag just to, so it fills up all the corners of the pack and so, saves some space. Some, uh, warm clothes just in case I got a long sleeve shirt, um, and stuff in case it gets colder later, which I don't think it's supposed to. It's 90 right now. Uh, and Probably I'd be uh, in the low 70s tonight. Uh, same deal with that uh, stuff sack for the clothes. All my clothes just get jammed down into my pack now. So yeah, that's what I do with my clothes. No, no more stuff sacks for those. This is where I got to lose some weight. This is all electronics gear. I, this is pretty heavy. I got my Kindle in here because I wanted something to read later. Um, I got some chargers in there. Charger cables. That electronics bag was ridiculous compared to this is my electronics bag now. Um, I do remember that I had in there, um, I had a Kindle, <laughs> a Kindle fire. I thought I was going to read. I never touched it. I had, uh, this, this light that I just hang up here at the apartment now, uh, is about the size of a light bulb. <laughs> uh, I had that. Oh, oh and I, this was good. I had a weather radio about the size of a small walkie talkie. Uh, <laughs> I thought I just wanted to, I was on a solo trip. 
it's probably my second solo trip I think so I just wanted to have some like human voices around <laughs> uh, and I thought it would keep the animals away at night it did not but I remember laying in my hammock that uh, that night turned on my headlamp I looked around and there were raccoons eyes so completely surrounding the camp <laughs> I guess maybe they were interested in the uh, in the human voices coming from the uh, from the weather radio but I don't know here's my um, cooking pot titanium there's nothing to that way it was all right that cook pot that's my uh my Tux, uh Titanium 750 mil. That's about one of the only things from this entire trip that I still use. I do still use the red and the blue um, stuff sacks just for like uh, one has my, uh, this was my uh, my electronics bag. I have a blue one for my um, for my ditty bag. I have a red one that I use for my um, for the, my hammock straps in case they're wet um, or get sap on them. Uh, and then I have a red bag that I use um, I'll use that other red bag for. I can't remember now. Uh, oh, it's my electronics bag. No, this is my electronics bag. What will use that other red one for? Oh, the other the other red bag is for my poop kit, which I'm going to be doing a video on that pretty soon. Uh, I got the river shoes, and I strapped them on the back of the backpack. Uh, yeah, the camp shoes, that was pretty ridiculous, and I do have a video coming out. It might be out before this one. I'm going to be talking about my uh, the shoes that I, that I wear for backpacking, so check that one out. Uh, but yeah, no more camp shoes for me. I just kind of find them unnecessary. Oh, and I need uh, I need to get a um, a compression bag to put the put my uh, raincoat in. Uh, yeah, that raincoat that was a marmot. Um, what was that? A marmot precip. It was pretty cheap at REI, so I got it. Um, it was just a terrible raincoat though. Um, all the inside lining just completely flaked off of it. Um, so yeah, that's that's long gone. That's just in the car as an emergency um, raincoat. Other than that, I don't know. The only thing I can think of to cut weight is this electronics bag and less water. Um, or maybe if there's something in here if I don't need the sleeping bag. Okay, now some of these little small random things I'm going to talk about. You see that orange whistle that I have there on the table? Um, that I picked up was like, um, I don't know, it, it probably a Walmart in the uh, camping section. Uh, it had a whistle. It had a, um, a compass that didn't work. It had a... Um, a magnifying glass, um, which I thought I was going to use if I ever lost my glasses or needed to start a fire. <laughs> uh, and I had a thermometer that didn't work. Um, so yeah, that, that's long gone. And now I have a Vargo titanium whistle uh, I just keep on my neck at all times. Okay, that uh, iPhone there. Um, I was filming that uh, that raccoon trip on uh, on my GoPro. So uh, that, that iPhone is the iPhone 4, which is actually smaller than the one I'm using now because in the XR. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a little bit less weight anyways. That box right there, that is an entire box of earplugs. <laughs> I don't know why I brought an entire box of earplugs. Now I just take little foam ones and I put two of them. I keep them in my Ridgeline organizer in my hammock. That's the only place I really need them. So don't even have to get out of my hammock at night if, if there's something making too much noise. All that cordage right there, those are just the tie out lines for my, um, for my tarp. So yeah, um. My tie out lines for my tarp right now are just attached to my um my my stakes, my uh, mini groundhogs. Or actually they're regular sized groundhogs. Okay, my glasses, I don't keep them in a hard case anymore. I just put them in like in a soft little bag that I found somewhere. A little oakly bag. Um so they, like, <laughs> yeah, I still take my I still have to take my glasses with me though. Okay, that little thermometer there, that uh that was just an impulse item that I bought at um like REI in the uh, checkout line. Um that that's gone now in place of the um the thermo works uh like the thermo works or the thermo drop whatever it's called um it, i can get the uh it'll keep track of the overnight lows the um afternoon highs so it's kind of interesting to know camera bag right there i was keeping my gopro in it and i had it attached to my shoulder strap um i think that's where i had it i can't remember now or no i had it on my waist my waistband and uh, every time i'd unbuckle it would fall off so oh, yeah that's that's long gone i got the sawyer uh the Keratin and the Maxi Deet, which I've always used the Deet, uh, and this is like insane how much Deet there is in this thing. Let's see what this thing is. Percentage-wise, it's like 98% uh, Deet. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, I, you know, I've been using this for the last month, and I don't know. I can't tell yet which one's better. Now, this one doesn't stink though, so I might stick with it for a little while. Yeah, I still use the Picaridin. Um that uh that same size i think it's a three ounce bottle i still use that i'm thinking about trading it out this year and going with the keratin wipes um 
obviously that's not, not the same bottle <laughs> from four years ago or whatever. But uh, yeah, the DEET, um, I've never had it happen to me, but uh, it, it's, it really stinks. But I, I've heard that it'll, uh, it'll ruin any kind of fabrics, you know, your hammock, anything it comes in contact with, it will just destroy. So yeah, I don't use DEET anymore. That watch I figured out, I, that's a pretty heavy watch, <laughs> relatively speaking. So uh, yeah, I don't bother with a watch anymore. I got a, I got a phone, not the clock on it. Uh, that belt came with a little pair of hiking pants. Um, yeah, I don't know why I would really needed that. That knife, I found that I probably at Walmart in the camping section. It had the paracord around the uh, around there, which I never obviously obviously never used. Um, I did sometimes use that knife for. Uh, but batoning wood or firewood or something, but uh, yeah, don't bother with that. I have a little Gerber knife about this big now. I carry that's a, all I need. Uh, and that is a paracord bracelet. Um, uh, I found that at like Home Depot, I think, for for a buck. Um, in case I ever need to get some spare cordage, um, never used it. So yeah, this is the sleep system unpacked here. Got the sleeping bag. Um, forget what this is rated to temperature wise but I just I like it because it's nice and small that sleeping bag that is a probably a 50 degree rating rated sleeping bag uh, nature hike I believe it is um, yeah I think the zipper is broken on it I just never use it the hammock can't lose much more weight than this, this is under seven ounces yeah that hammock is lighter than the hammocks that I have now but I do have a new hammock on the way it's being made right now and uh, it's gonna be killer I can't wait to, to show you all that um, but yeah, seven, seven ounces or sub seven or whatever that is for that, uh, that hammock, that's not too bad. It was just uncomfortable with two, it's just too confining. Um, it lasted about two trips before I replaced it. The straps are the tree straps, which is even lighter than that. The straps I was using back then, they are lighter than what I'm using now. I have just, uh, one inch wide. I think they are, um, just tree hybrid straps, um, from Dutchware. Uh, I do have new straps on the way. Uh, but uh, yeah, those ones in the video are uh, whoopee slings, those Eno ones. Uh, I found them very limiting as far as the size of the diameter of trees I could get around with them. So, um, and they were just too fidgety. So yeah, I don't use those anymore. Uh, I got this seat, sit pad, uh, which I'm going to try out in a minute. I used it at work all day one day. Um, but yeah, it also folds in half for a pillow. So there's a pillow. Oh, uh, that sit pad wasn't too bad. I actually like that, that REI flash sit pad. Um, that uh, I would put it on the back of my Nero on the between my back and the pack with it where there's a sit pad I used to keep it there uh, and it did fold in half and it had a little um, button where you could uh, turn it into like a, a pillow so I used that for a while but yeah it eventually got a leak and I replaced it with the uh, the Dutchware Argon pillow that I use in my hammock now and I do have that that, that inflatable one that um, what is it the uh, I can't remember the name of it now um, that I use for uh, if I'm sleeping on a, in a shelter on the ground. The bug net, it's a little heavier than what I'd like, and I'm, I don't know, I might ex I might do a different bug net eventually. That bug net design was ridiculous. It just hung like a big sock over top of the uh, over top of the hammock and just drooped down to the ground. It was just a real pain. Um, there was no ridge line. I had I had somehow hooked up some kind of ridge line inside it, um, but yeah, it was just a major pain. And just look at the size of it too. It was, it was just gigantic it weighed as much as a brick and then the uh the, the rain tarp i think there's a chance of rain later so all right that tarp lasted me quite a while uh silk poly or silk nylon whatever it is um until i eventually got the uh you know the dyneema one that i have now um but I, I got that last year i think so yeah it was a huge weight savings once i had saved me about a pound once i got the dyneema um, tarp and then the uh the sleeping pad um, I don't know. I'm going to try it out and see if it's too hot. Oh, uh, yeah, that sleeping pad, that's the climate, uh, non-insulated, probably an R value of one. Um, it, it eventually sprung a leak, but I do have the uh, climate insulated 4.5 R value, I think it is. That's the one I use uh, sleeping in shelters on the ground. Yeah, just a sleeping pad in a hammock, unless it's a double, uh, double layer hammock where you can slide it in, in between the layers. Uh, it just moves around way too much, and you're always got an arm hanging off and it getting cold or whatever so yeah under quilts the way to go in a hammock and then the tent pegs and that's pretty much the whole setup right there those tent stakes uh those that came with a tent that i was using uh, like i said i think this was the first um hammock trip i did before this i had uh just a cheap walmart tent that i was using so 
uh, just had the same uh, shepherd's hook uh, stakes that I was using. Um, you'll see them in a, in a shortly as I show my uh, cooking setup. Um, but that that tent, uh, the stake bag, I still use that stake bag today. Uh, it did get a hole in the bottom, so I had to sew the bottom up. But uh, yeah, I don't see any. any uh, I mean, I could get a Dyneema one, but what am I going to save a gram? All right, so cooking dinner. We've got the north sides. Uh, chicken flavor, fettuccine. Boiling the water on the uh, solid fuel folding stove, which I'll probably change that up. I don't know. Uh, more than likely, I'll get a titanium real stove. Okay, so this is how I was uh, cooking my my uh, nor pasta sides. Um, as you can see, the solid fuel stove there um, with the uh, shepherd's hooks um, across it to um, create a, a platform, I guess, for the uh, cook pot. This is the bear pole. Um, and I brought my uh, extra line that I'm going to try out uh, so I can find a good tree to, to try this uh, PCT bear bag hang on. I'm going to try that out. So while I'm boiling the water, I'll go ahead and do that. And I brought that whole paracord line. I was going to try out the um, PCT method for the first time. I wanted to learn how to do it, even though there was a bear pole there. Um, and I got that paracord line stuck up in the tree. I had to come back the next day. I was getting too frustrated. I came back the next day to get to get my uh, my uh, rock bag back down. I, I was using that uh, whoopee sling bag as a, as a rock bag. But I eventually got it down the next day, so at least I saved that uh, whoopee sling bag. All right, so they, yeah, that's it. Probably, like I said, maybe two or three things that I still use from the from the 2018 trip. Um, and uh, yeah, just thought it was fun, fun little video to kind of compare. And, but yeah, that'll uh, that'll do it for this one. And uh, thanks for watching.